Immunofluorescence is an approach to utilizing antibodies and fluorescent detection to visualize the protein of interest. It can be applied to many cell biological studies, including protein localization, protein expression, and many more. Principle of immunofluorescence First, antibodies specifically bind to the protein of interest, and they are conjugated with fluorophore in order to visualize the protein. Also, there are two types of immunofluorescence, which are direct and indirect. The major difference is that direct immunofluorescence has primary antibodies conjugated directly to fluorophores, whereas in indirect immunofluorescence, fluorophores are conjugated to secondary antibodies. These direct and indirect methods have their own advantages and disadvantages, so the choice depends on users to choose whichever is suitable for the applications. Here is the immunofluorescence workflow. First step is a sample fixation. This step is the process of preserving cells by immobilizing proteins or other cellular components. This can be done by using chemical cross linkers or organic solvents. Next step is permeabilization. Permeabilization allows antibodies to penetrate into the cells. This can be done by incubating samples in a detergent or permeabilization buffer. Blocking. Blocking is required to block non-specific binding of the antibodies within the cells and to minimize background signal. Primary antibody incubation Primary antibodies bind directly and specifically to the proteins of interest. There are also important things to consider, at least below. The selection of a primary antibody is very crucial, so make sure to confirm its suitability for your target species and application. Also, Biotin provides mix and stand CFD antibody labeling kits, which can buy two primary antibodies for protein labeling. Secondary antibody incubation. The secondary antibodies are usually used in indirect immunofluorescence to detect primary antibodies. They are usually coupled with fertile force depending on color of choices. Biogem offers a range of secondary antibodies conjugated to CF dyes and other labels, available in a high range of wavelengths. Termite signal amplification is a powerful method for increasing the sensitivity of immunofluorescent staining. It gives much stronger signal and it can also be used in multiplex detection. Nuclear staining and mounting The last step before sample visualization is nuclear staining and sample mounting. This is to better orientate the cellular structure and protect and preserve the sample when imaging. The last step is to visualize the protein of interest using fluorescence microscopy. Each channel can be combined and initialized if using more than one marker. Lastly, we would like to introduce you Biochem cell last standing product range. This can be applied to many organelles and cell last structures for both live and fixed cells. With the outstanding performance and friendly to use, this could be an excellent option for your immunofluorescence detection.